forbidden by parents of sin And the preachers and pastors were the sin and end. We met up with Celebrity Constellation, finally, in Ravenna Port. And after an overnight there, we headed out for a shore excursion in the nearby city. Now, if you've ever been on a shore excursion, you know that sometimes you luck out and get the perfect mix of passengers and tour guide, the weather holds, and that everything goes smoothly. On this excursion, however, we were led by a colorfully cranky, unprepared bike-pushing woman, and our group had several loud and very difficult passengers. You know, it happens. And this wasn't my first rodeo, as they say, and instead of letting it ruin my expensive excursion, I set my mind early on this journey to enjoy this unexpectedly beautiful city. What does unexpectedly beautiful really mean? Well, it's more of a reference to my own ignorance of the area. After booking this cruise, Venice Port was changed to Ravenna. I was busy and my normal pre-cruise research was put off. Everyone's heard of Venice, but Ravenna? Walking through the cobbled streets that day, I did not know that a century BC, Roman ruler Octavian created a military port there called Classis. And then for about 600 years, it served as the capital city for several different empires. It was where Julius Caesar mustered his soldiers before crossing the Rubicon. Later, it was where the Roman imperial fleet was moored. It was also where Dante lived at the end of his life, and now where his tomb is located. So much history, and a lot that I should have educated myself about beforehand. I also find myself now, as I produce this video, having to apologize to you that because of the issues with the guide, I am not at all certain of the names of the cathedrals or most of the landmarks. So my friends, with that all being said, I'd like to invite you to virtually take a walk with me, 25 strangers, and one difficult tour guide through this UNESCO World Heritage Site.
I speak, I don't want to repeat many things every time. They are all angry with me. What can I do? It had been a long morning and we had walked probably about five miles around the city. Eventually we boarded the bus to head back to the ship and I thought about the issues that had plagued our day in Ravenna, but none of them were so awful that it took away from the beauty of the city. I continue to be that smiling, wide-eyed traveler with a grateful heart. And as my friend Pam always says, I'm just happy to be here. I was born and then orphaned by parents of sin. And the preachers and pastors were the sun and end. I was baptized with water the day it happened. Now I'm leaving my chains all behind. So they